Hello Leo, welcome to another love reading and we're going to be looking at uh, past and present energies in love, uh, who you might be dealing with and what's the potential outcome, what can you expect next. So let's see what messages we have for Leo. It's very interesting guys, messages please, guidance for Leo. What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? We'll start with the recent past. See what's been going on for you in love, Leo. Spirit, what are the recent past energies for Leo? Recent past energies, please, for Leo. Oh wow, Eight of Cups and the Devil Capricorn energy. I wanted one card, but I got boop. I got two. Um, well, the Eight of Cups is about leaving something behind. You could have left a toxic situation behind. You could have left behind some sort of habit or behavior that wasn't the most healthy. Um, there might have been an attachment that you walked away from. Uh, something that was kind of uh, shackling you or pinning you down or making you feel a bit, I don't know, I'm feeling someone that's, their head is underwater, just trying to get to the surface. This could also be the other person's energy that I'm picking up on, but I feel like there has been a recent departure um, when it comes to love. But maybe this is a good thing because walking away from a situation like the devil is freeing. There's there's a liberation there. You could also have walked away from someone that has Capricorn in their chart. So what's the present energies for Leo in love? Present energies for Leo. Wow, Ace of Wands, something new, exciting, something passionate, something creative. A new beginning in store here, something that you want to poten potentially jump on. Because Ace of Wands is like, it's an adventure, right? It's something that is exciting and interest. Why is the tower there? Okay. Wow, the Tower and the Ace of Swords. Okay. So whatever this is here with the Tower, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Wands, a Tower moment is leading to clarity with the Ace of Swords, communication, a revelation. When I see these two cards together, I think of something being revealed, a truth being revealed, and a new beginning of some sort. I feel like this tower is bringing about something pretty special for you um, regarding love. Something exciting, but it might be unexpected or it might be a bit... I don't know, it's almost... it might rock you a little. What's at the bottom of the deck? Wow, two of wands. Seven of swords and the three of wands. Hmm, a new path. However, I feel like the Seven of Swords is like... I'm, I'm picking up that this Seven of Swords could be someone that you know or someone that might want to interfere in some way. Uh, it could be that you discover something about a particular person with the Ace of Swords in the Tower, that being a revelation. You could be, you know, understanding someone or seeing someone for the first time very clearly, seeing their behavior clearly. I see that as well. I feel like this is going to make you kind of um, like delay you a little bit, but I feel this is something new headed your way, Leo. And it's not going to be an easy beginning because the tower is here. So let's see, what are the challenges or ch if I could speak, <laughs> what are the challenges or issues, obstacles that Leo might be dealing with here, spirit? Challenges, obstacles, issues that Leo might be dealing with. 
the world. Okay, so the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. It might be hard for you to make this transition. It might be tough for you to close a chapter, tie up loose ends, get closure, and begin something new. Maybe this is a bit fearful for you or you're scared or I'm picking up like a herd of fearful. You might be afraid. Fearful is such a weird uh, word to put in that sentence, but I heard fearful and I tried to put it in a sentence and it clearly it didn't work out, but there's a f fear here. Tell me more. Challenges, obstacles, issues for Leo. Any other challenges? Anything else we need to know about these challenges or obstacles for Leo? Five of Wands. Yeah, so there might be a bit of a drama or conflict here with multiple people the death cards at the bottom of the deck scorpio energy there i feel like it's going to be hard this ending is going to be tough you might get some pushback you know so for example if you're trying to end a relationship maybe it'll be a bit of a fight if you're trying to end a like an influence in your life or if you want to get rid of anybody that's just not meant to be in your life or if you're tired of always fighting against a particular person i feel like you're trying to wrap up a new you're trying to wrap up a chapter so you can start a new chapter and in that new chapter is something completely different and i think that's going to ruffle some feathers i feel like this ending is going to ruffle some feathers. It's not going to be an easy, quick ending for you, and that'll be a challenge, something to keep in mind. All right, so what's the overall energy here for Leo? Overall energy, please, Spirit. For Leo, what does Leo need to know? Regarding love, relationships, what does Leo need to know? Storybook romance, romance, chemistry, mutual feelings. So there could be uh, someone that has feelings for you. The feelings are mutual. There could be a romance uh, that's blooming. Chemistry. What else? What else do we need to know? For Leo, overall energies for them and love. I mean, the world, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. There's a new beginning here for you. Okay, we got Princess, which is the Divine Feminine. I'm going to get one more. Or let's just look at the bottom of the deck. Poisoned Apple. Warnings, deception, red flags. Okay, there's someone around you that you can't really trust, Leo. I don't know who this is. It doesn't necessarily have to be a partner. It could be someone that's just jealous of whatever's going on or whatever new thing is happening for you, whatever new beginning is going on here. Someone could be jealous. Someone could be wanting to disrupt that for you. Because I feel like someone does not want you to have this new beginning. Like there's a resistance here. This is the second edition of the Stellar Energy Oracle deck. It's not completely done. I'm actually going to be changing the back card design. Uh, but the front design um, is going to pretty much stay the same. What's the overall energy here for Leo? What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? It's like, I'm, I'm hearing they don't want to see you win. Yeah, unhealthy attachments. There's some something, this could be a past attachment, this could be a friend, family member, some sort of like unhealthy dynamic here. Jealousy, uh, codependency. There's something going on here. That's why the devil is here. That's why the tower is necessary. And why the five of wands is almost like an obstacle that's going to be, you know, it's like some a storm is brewing. Can I get one more? One more for the overall energy here. For Leo, please. Victory lap. Okay, so they're not going to win. They don't want to see you win. They don't want to see you have success. But it doesn't matter what they want. I feel like you will still have success. I feel like um, some of you are completely single and others are dealing with someone. Like, I don't feel like the cards tell me specifically that whoever is like 
in your midst causing problems. It doesn't necessarily have to be a recent ex or a current partner. It could be anybody. Let's look at this person. This other person that you have been dealing with or will be dealing with in the future. Spirit, tell me more about this person that Leo will be dealing with in the near future. Let's focus on the near future. What do we need to know about this individual that Leo will be dealing with in the near future, Spirit? What do we need to know? Two of Wands. What do we need to know about this other person's energy, this person that Leo will be dealing with in the near future? What do we need to know? Three of Wands, okay. King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you and this person have something to discuss. And a choice is wrapped up in this person. So for example, actually, let's clarify that. Before I even say that, let's look at what this Two of Wands is about. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here, Spirit? Why is the Two of Wands here for Leo? The Nine of Swords. Death at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this is all connected. Okay, there's two ways I can interpret this. This could be the person that is afraid of the decision that you are making, Leo. Maybe they don't want you to end things. They don't want things to change between you. They don't want things to end between you. That's one interpretation. And it's like they're hoping to talk you out of it. Like I see that being part of all of these energies here. However, I don't know if this person is meant to be in your life because there's definitely an energy here of something has to end in order for a new beginning to become available for you. Others of you, I feel like this could also be a decision that you have to make between a past person and opening the door to a new person. Because I feel like you could be talking to this individual and kind of making them wait for you to make a decision about them. Tell me about this King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? Five of Cups. Okay. I'm starting to think this is someone that has regrets. So this is what I'm seeing. Some of you are having to choose between someone that has regrets over their past actions and someone that you have mutual feelings for. You know, take it as it resonates. And so let me know in the comments if this is resonating. But I feel like some of you, you have a choice. Whatever's unhealthy, whatever's toxic, whatever attachment keeps you down you need to break that that's pretty clear because there's someone around you that doesn't want you to succeed doesn't want you to end the situation wants to keep you here in this devil energy this stuck energy someone wants to keep you stuck but i feel like if you do that you will not get this Ace of, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords storybook romance, which I feel this is what you want. You want victory, you want success in love. This could be what, you know, this person wants as well. They want to have success in love with you. We'll look at the um, their energies a little bit more. I'm going to get a PS, I love you. Oracle, this one also is available now. Spirit, what do we need to know about this individual? 
What do we need to know about this individual? This could also be a third party situation. There could be a third party interference that's very unhealthy that someone has to kind of walk away from. Or there is some sort of influence that's interfering in an otherwise good connection. I mean, there's a lot of ways to look at this. What is this person's energy towards Leo, please? Facing fears. Okay, being brave. Having courage. What else? What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Leo? Buried feelings. And bottom of the deck, I don't have the courage to face you. Okay, so this is someone that wants to open up about their regrets. Now this is making a little bit more sense. This King of Swords with the Five of Cups, they want to discuss their buried feelings, but they're afraid to face you. Like they're, they're afraid to come forward and reveal this to you. So I don't think this is a new person, unless it's someone that, you know, no, I don't think this is a new person. I was going to say, this could be somebody that maybe you're talking to, but they haven't revealed how they truly feel about you. It just doesn't really fit. I feel like this is someone that, from the past, that's trying to, you know, is afraid to face you and tell you the truth about how they feel. Because I feel like i don't know maybe that's why this is surprising to you with the tower and the ace of swords maybe the communication from them is surprising and it could be that this person is just afraid that you're not going to be open to what they have to say if this is someone from the recent past they don't want you to move on if this is someone from the distant past i feel like they don't want you to move on they want you know it's like they want to be with you but there's red flags here Take it as it resonates because you're all dealing with different um, conflicts and obstacles in your life. What's the potential outcome here? The possible outcome here for Leo Spirit. What's the potential outcome here for Leo? What's the potential outcome? Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is someone that is not afraid. <laughs> Queen of Wands is very bold. What she wants, she tends to get. What's the potential outcome here, Spirit? For Leo. Wow, the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay, there's more than two people here. There's a situation with more than two people. This could be family members, co-workers, past partners, current partners, etc, etc, etc. What's the potential outcome here? Yeah, Seven of Cups. Can I get one more? Spare, what's the potential outcome here? For Leo? Seven of Wands. The Hangman. Okay, so decisions, options, choices, Seven of Cups. Someone has to decide what to do about whatever the issue is the issue is in the form of a person whatever's blocking this connection slowing down something or you know it could be that something is in the way of you moving on leo you might be ready to move on to something new and maybe because you're tired of the bs you're ready to move on to something new you're ready to see what else is out there for you but there's like an issue with other people they don't want to see you when they don't want to see you move on. This could be your past partner. This could be someone else. I feel like if you were in a third party situation, this person has resisted making a decision. They have not fully decided who to be with. And I think you're walking away from all of that. But then I also get this other scenario for some of you where it's like you have changed in a good way and you're ready to start a new chapter. And they don't want you to start a new chapter without them. So they're trying to come forward and fight for you. But I think it might be too late. I see all of those scenarios with all of the cards that are on the board. So let me know which one of those scenarios resonates for you in the comments. I'm going to leave this reading here. Hopefully you enjoyed it, Leo. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe before you leave.